Hey guys, Anthony here from AK Fitness. Today I got my whiteboard with me. I'm gonna talk about rest time, reps, sets, and how many exercises do you have to do. All about programming. Let's start after the intro. Let's start off with the rest time. Big three, we're talking about the squat, deadlift, and the bench press. Those are very demanding, nervous taxing exercises. Many people use them nowadays. When you're doing the big three, I usually recommend resting longer than three minutes because your nervous system needs it. You want to be recovered for your next set so your form stays on point. Because deadlifting, squatting, bench pressing, they're pretty hard. So does this mean you can never rest under three minutes? Of course you can, but when you really want to build up more strength and want to be injury free, I recommend resting 3 minutes or longer. Especially on the squats and the deadlift, bench press, maybe 1 or 2 minutes is also okay. Dude. Now we discussed the big 3. 3, 3, 3. It's hard for me as a Dutch guy. We're moving on to the compound exercises. Compound exercises are multi-joint movements. So like bench press, you use your elbow, your shoulder, your wrist, squatting, knee, hip, your ankle joint, a lot of joints. And when you're talking about isolation, you mostly use one joint like elbow flexion. With compound exercises, I recommend resting longer than two minutes. Many people will tell you that you have to rest really short to build muscle. I really disagree. People that rest shorter than two minutes on compound exercises are usually not lifting heavy enough or they're just doing way too many sets and I will discuss sets later on. Just remember, most of the time, rest above two minutes. Moving on to isolation, the arrow is pointing down, so below two minutes. Of course, there's not a big problem when you're resting a little bit above two minutes. Don't worry about it. But most of the time, keep it under two minutes, keep the intensity high, that works better for building muscle. Next subject is a training technique that I really prefer and that is rest pause. Many people use drop set, like lifting something, dropping the weight, lifting again with a little to no rest time. But rest pause is much better for the most individual lifters. It's just using the same weight, resting a really short time, around 10 seconds after you set, and you use the same weight again, you do like 10 reps on your first set, then you try it again after 10 seconds. You maybe squeeze out three extra reps, then you're really tired, you get two more and then one more. You did 60 reps in a short time frame and otherwise you would only do 10. So like I wrote, rest pause is gains. I don't really recommend drop sets. Some people like it. It's more effective when people use steroids. So you stick to the rest pause or if you want strength gains, because rest pause is mostly muscle gains and a little bit strength gain, but cluster sets is really good for strength gains. It looks a little bit like rest pause. You can do cluster sets with singles or doubles. Let's take an example. You can bench press 100 kg to 25 pounds and you can normally do only three reps, but now instead you're gonna do five reps with small rest intervals. You perform one rep with that weight, then you re-rack, then you wait for 10 seconds, you do another one, Till you hit five reps. In this small minute, you did five reps, and otherwise, you only did three reps. We're done with the rest time. I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the reps. I'm gonna keep this really short. With compounds, I recommend three reps till maximum of eight reps and sometimes nine to 12, but compound exercises are better on the low reps because you can handle more weight on it. So sometimes you can make an exception and move it on to nine to 12. But most of the time, somewhere between three and eight reps is your best. And I really like five reps and six reps. There's less chance of injury with six reps than with one rep. I don't really recommend one rep maxing only if you're a power lifter because it's more of an ego thing. And if it goes wrong, boom, you're injured. You're out for a long time. you lose all your muscle. You won't lose all your muscle, but you will lose some. <laughs> okay. Isolation. Isolation is 8 to 20. Same as the compound, we make some exceptions. Of course, you can do a heavy bicep curl set with 5 reps or 7 reps. But most of the time, stick to 8 plus. Think about flies. Who is doing 4 reps on flies? Come on. Are you that guy? Stop it. And side raises. Have you ever seen someone do 3 reps on side raises? He's crazy, man. <laughs> He's crazy. I haven't. Okay, that was reps. Sets. Oh, so many questions about sets. People make it so complicated, but why? Why?
why? It's pretty simple. I got some rules I live by when making my own programs, but also for my clients. The workout volume in one session, stick to somewhere about 12 to 25 sets in a training. But always when I make a workout plan, I count all the sets together. And if it's way above 30, you're doing it wrong, man. Only when you're on steroids. So for the natural lifters, 12 to 25 sets in one training session. But now we're gonna talk about the muscle volume and somewhere about 10 to 20 sets each week on every muscle is great. In my last video, I also talked about hit every muscle group two or three times a week. Divide the sets over the week. So instead of doing 20 sets for your chest in one session, it's not really effective only for the beginners out there or the steroid users. Divide it over the week. Let's take an example of three times full body in a week. You do like three sets minimum for every muscle group and seven sets maximum. And of course, some muscles are different than others. So this is just a general recommendation, but you can go a little bit above or a little bit below. It's not a problem. Just a guideline for you guys. Last subject, and this one is pretty short as well. Exercises. How many exercises in a training session? I wrote down three to max 12 exercises in a session. Of course, this can be a little bit different from each training goal, but when you're a power lifter, you wanna keep it really simple, like three exercises. Maybe doing only the big three, or just doing one of the big three, and then two accessory exercises but keep it to a maximum of 12. Five to eight is my favorite with full body. But when I follow a training split, I usually do a little bit more isolation exercises. And when you do full body, you have to do a lot of compound exercises. Otherwise you will be two hours in the gym and I recommend like one hour to 90 minutes. We're already talking about compound exercises. So let's go to here. Three to seven compound exercises. So when you only choose for three exercises, make sure three are compound exercises but go to a maximum of seven compound exercises because they're pretty taxing for the nervous system and add in maybe five isolation exercises if you wanna to go to the max and zero is also enough. When I'm in a rush, I skip out every isolation exercises. I hope everything is clear. Leave a like if you enjoyed this content. Uh, if you still have questions about this or maybe some recommendation on my next video for next Friday, leave a comment down below and um, subscribe if you haven't. I try to be unique on this channel and I hope you uh, appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.